Walgreens, here in Canada, we still have Toys R Us. So I decided to go shopping and bring Salty Crafter with me. Right, Burr? Yeah. That was, that was quite enthusiastic. <gasps> Don't do it. That was a, a that was an attempt hit and run. I saw it. Bring your butt over here. Bring it. You know I said the other shoulder, right? And so when we got to Toys R Us, there was so much to explore. There were crap kits, a little bit of everywhere. And so Salty Crafter's a little salty heart was just so happy. And while we were there, we found three different DIY perfume craft kits. I saw that you hate me. Why? What'd you do to me? Proud of yourself? Are you proud? You're so rude, you know. Oh! Another hit and run that's three in a row! <coughs> oh Salt, come up and play today. And so the first kit that we picked up is Science of Perfumes. This one is the least expensive at $19.99. The next kit is called My Own Perfumery and that one costs $26.99. <coughs> this is my show! Stop stealing it! Everyone already loves you, you know that, right? And then the most expensive kit is $40. Wow. So I'm really curious to know which one of these perfume kits, the cheap one versus the expensive one, which one is better? Do you think the cheap one's gonna be better? Expensive? Oh, you, you like expensive things, don't you? You like the flex? Oh yeah, he loves the flex. And so I spent about $82 on three perfume craft kits. Let's just be very clear, all three of them have a science or STEM designation on the box. No one's asking this, but let me tell you anyway. You would expect that Salty Crafter would smell like the ocean because salt. But oddly enough, she smells like colored pencils and a really delicious chocolate chip cookie. I don't know why she smells like those to, but she does. And so the first one we're going to be starting with is Science of Perfumes. Which is by the company Science For You. And I don't know, is it me? Or does the girl look like she's kind of disgusted from that smell? Like, and they're like, keep your nose there. And she's probably crying on the inside. That's <coughs> thing that. In all seriousness, I'm pretty excited about this kit. So time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Three cosmetic colorants in blue, yellow, red. Liquid glycerin, four caps, straws, pipettes, stirry sticks, measuring cups, four tubes. We also get salt. We also get a tea bag. Get your mind out of the gutter. Not that kind of tea bag. Apple and cinnamon flavor. I'm not sure why, but I guess we'll find out. And a fully illustrated booklet. So that's that's going to be really interesting to try out. So far, this booklet is pretty interesting because they start off with primary colors, the different senses, and they also go into the history of perfumes. I mean, look over there. That's my people, my Egyptian people. And we also get the different ingredients that were used in perfumes. And this here chart is is really interesting. It's all about the different scent families. How cool is that? You're supposed to say pretty cool. So in order to make our <coughs> Why, why does it smell so strong in here? One of the things I noticed immediately is that we don't have anything that is actually perfume. So different scents that we can mix to get a new scent. But I'm gonna trust the process. And as you can see from the instructions, it looks like we will also need modeling clay, which they do not provide. We also need paper filters, which I don't have, so I'm going to be using a coffee filter. So the first thing we're going to be doing is taking the tea bag and putting half of the contents in a a large measuring cup. Add 10 milliliters of water. Once we mix the tea and water, we're supposed to let it sit for about 10 minutes. One of my favorite sentences here, make sure the water is well impregnated. Does the water have our consent? I mean, at this point, they're telling us we can add more cinnamon to the apple cinnamon. So I guess, sure, why not? Let's do this. Now we're going to be filtering with the mechanism that they suggest.
And then we're going to be adding five milliliters of the liquid glycerin. Then we're going to collect 10 drops of the salty solution and put it into the glycerin solution. And then we're going to mix both of them together. And according to that, we should have perfume. All right, so here is our solution. And I feel like it's just going to smell like tea but maybe the glycerin is going to help us, but it smells like apple cinnamon tea. It smells absolutely delicious, but let's try our perfume. So the texture is a little oily, actually really oily, and the scent smells like shoes, like clean new shoes with a slight hint of apple cinnamon, but it's really oily. Let me just put some here and it smells like absolutely nothing. It did say if we want the smell to be stronger, we can add more of the tea scent. But at this point, we're just smelling like oily tea. This is, this is really disappointing. And unfortunately, as I'm trying to check out more experiments that I can do for you grains, a lot of the materials they want us to supply for our own, for, for our own experiments. So if we wanted to perfume our own room, they tell us to get rosemary or lavender or any other kind of aromatic plant. They also want us to have olive oil and, and all that stuff, which again is not included. By the way, they did not say includes everything you need because it doesn't. So I feel like at this point, the kit becomes useless other than the fact that they give you experiments, which I'm pretty sure you can find online. So even though this kit is only $14, it's not providing us with anything that we can't necessarily just do at home or find online. I mean, really a tea bag and glycerin, that's, that's your perfume? And all I feel is just oil. The instruction booklet was pretty cool, but other than that, this kit for me goes in the trash. Our next victim. <laughs> oh boy. Help me. I mean review, is my own perfumery at $26. I don't know why the box itself needs to say, explore the mystery and science of fragrance. I really had no idea that fragrance was a mystery. And the box itself really attracted me because it was so colorful. I wanna see what's the science of perfumery, which means time to see what we get inside. five pipettes, five tubes, and five scents. Peppermint, which smells like someone else is chewing a gum across the room. Very light peppermint. Jasmine, again, smells like a really light, fragranty flower, but again, from far. So it feels like these scents are not really concentrated. Heliotropine, what is that? It smells like soap, like Irish spring soap. Apple, hello which smells like nothing. And last but not least, well, probably least, we have Lily, because all of them smelled very disappointing. Lily smells like detergent. And we also get the perfumery activity guide. It is um, questionable at best. The first thing we have is Cleopatra's secret. So they do talk about my people, the Egyptians. In case you're wondering, yes, I am of Egyptian origin, and yes, I can speak Arabic. Ahlan wa sahlan. So according to this recipe guide, Cleopatra technically smelled like this. So we're going to be making it by adding 30 drops of jasmine, eight of lily, two heliotropes, and one of apple. I just want to note, the one underneath it is called Napoleon's scented glove. I'm pretty sure if Napoleon was wearing a glove all day, it would by no means smell like peppermint and apple. It would probably smell more like someone's sweaty palms inside a glove. Gross. And so here is our vial of Cleopatra. And what does she smell like? like a confused mess. The feeling again is a little oily. They probably also put glycerin. And I guess for back in the day, it's okay to smell kind of like a laundry detergent. And that's pretty much what it smells like. Is it unpleasant? No. Would I wear this? Maybe, but most likely not. And other than that, the only other activity in this kit is pretty much circling how each scent makes you feel. Heliotrope makes me feel very sad because it smells like nothing. Apple, also very sad, because it smells like nothing. You know what, you grains get the idea. All of this stuff, that's that's what I'm going for. They're, they're just pretty disappointing, and I feel pretty, pretty scammed. 
And so for $26, all they really gave us in terms of STEM science learning experiment is just a bunch of vials with already mixed scents that made me pretty nauseous and nothing really science-y about it, nor mysterious. I mean, look at the box again. It says the mystery of perfumes. So for me, again, this perfume science experiment kit goes straight in the trash. I honestly thought for $26, they would give us like dried up flowers that we would have to rehydrate or pull out some of the oils out of it. I don't know. I'm just saying for $26, I would have expected a little more raw material. And now for the most expensive kit. Create your own perfume. This one at $40 is the most expensive perfume kit. I really think the whole setup of like all these little pumps and machines and little spirally things adds to the idea. What you got interrupt for? That's rude. You done? Adds to the idea that it is a steam kit. So we're supposed to learn stuff from it. One of the things I'm not quite sure about is why does it say Netflix at the bottom of this box? I have no idea. Did Netflix make this? I don't know. Burp, do you know? So why is it? That's not a reason. I guess Burp knows things, I don't know. Oh, why? Oh, this room smells really nauseating. All right, enough delay. Let's do the opening. Yeah, before we open it, I would really like to bring our attention to the Instagram posts. I mean, just pouring liquid inside a little jar got 310,000 likes. I mean, holy moly, I should try that. I just have to say the amount of likes that they have on each picture is just very unrealistic unless you're a major celebrity. Now that we have the gimmicky machine all put together, here's what we actually get inside for $40. Two tiny bottles of scents in Violet and Poppy, two pipettes, and three spritz bottles. We don't get any other colorants or any other scents or any kind of dried flowers or, or materials that we can learn how to make perfume. No, instead we get this huge plasticky gimmicky thing that essentially replaces this movement. Yeah, that's a real nuisance. <laughs> you see, this machine is replacing shaking things. Get your mind out of the gutter. This is so scammy right now, but let's smell the scents because maybe it's gonna be good. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. So Violet smells, mmm. It actually smells really nice, like a really gorgeous spring flower. And then we have Poppy, which has this kind of fruity, orangey, light scent in the background, but it smells good. All right, for my poor little salty brain, the instructions are just this much, no, this, this much confusing. If you can see at number six, it clearly says twist off the tops of each container and fill them with water. And then number seven says two drops of one of the scents. But then at the bottom, it also says add one drop of every fragrance for at least 10 drops of water. So am I adding just two drops of scents or am I supposed to make a ratio of water to fragrance? Can you see my confusion? I'm doing this and this is a balance thing, not what you, not what you think. Now that I filled up the containers with water, I really only have two scents to work with. The front of the box shows a lot of different colors. So we have the blue and pink, and then we have kind of a purplish thing right in the middle. But they say that you have to supply your own coloring. That is just a scammage. Give me what you advertise on the box. I mean, we can either have more violet scent or more poppy scent. And they say you can put vanilla if you want, but for $40, really? All right, so I'm just gonna put these scents in there and I'm gonna add a couple of colorants just, you know, for video effects. Oh my God, that does not wanna squeeze. Holy moly, there we go. Let's go crazy and put like six drops. All right, so let's put the straws inside the containers. There we go. And on this side, and here it is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and press the pumps that are, no, 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 no. <gasps> no, not my felt. What'd you do to me? All right, so the question is, why is this leaking? Why? I mean, if we press the button, 
I mean, we're getting some kind of action here, but we're getting a lot of action down here. <laughs> I do not want this to stay in my desk. There is no reason for this to leak. Oh, no. They're sealed in here tightly. Oh, no. So I really don't understand why. I need to clean my desk. Give me a second. All right, let's just keep pumping and we'll, I'll let you see the top part over here so that you can gauge how much... Okay, so I'm pumping. This is what it looks like. And I'm pumping the other side now. And this is what it looks like on the inside of the tube. It's air coming up and pushing, which is pretty much resulting in it dripping inside that little beaker. Again, this is replacing mixing it in and shaking it with your own hands. And what does it smell like? That's gross. Did anyone test how compatible these two scents are? Cause they're not. And of course it's still leaking at the bottom. See? It's just leaking. Why? All right, so I'm going to go ahead, transfer the scent into the little spritz thing and um, see what it smells like. It smells exactly like it did in the beaker. Except now I have food color it leaking all over. In the tray. I really expected an actual scientific activity as opposed to a fake scientific activity. Just because you give us beakers and swirly straws, it means jack crap. When you think about it, the only kit that gave us actual ingredients is the one at $14. So if you were ever in the market to get any perfume kind of mixing kit, I would say none of them would make the cut. So even though we have Toys R Us, we also have crap kits in Canada. <laughs> Which one did you have the most hope on? And also let me know, what is your favorite scent? I personally like to wear vanilla flavor because I just like the scent of vanilla and oranges. I love oranges so much. <laughs> and by the way, it's still leaking. If you want to watch the previous Toys R Us crap kit, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.